Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rational number operations. This is standard 7.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple word problem here. The diameter of the handle of a baseball bat is one and three quarter inches. So what is the length of inches of the diameters of eight? Right, so we simply need to make a little strip diagram here, right? So if we want to think of eight of these, and we've got one and three quarters, and it just goes in every single one of these. So we can either add one and three quarters eight times, or probably the easiest way would be to look at one and three quarters times eight. Now, how do we do that? There's two different ways to do that. Let me show you the first way of keeping it in fractional notation. So the easiest thing to do is we need to take this one and three quarters and turn that into an improper fraction, uh, just so we can just do fraction and fraction. So one and three quarters. So how we change a mixed number to an improper fraction is we multiply the whole number by the denominator. So 1 times 4. So that's going to be 4. That means we got one set of 4. And then we want to add the numerator. So 4 plus that 3 is going to be 7. And then we keep our denominator. So 1 and 3 quarters is the same as 7 quarters. Now, we want to multiply that by 8. Well, any whole number can be turned into a fraction if you simply put it over 1. 8 once is the same as just 8. This becomes easy because now we can do straight across. 7 times 8 is going to be 56. 4 times 1 is 4. Now let's divide. 4 goes into 56. So 4 goes into 5 one time. Well, that's going to be nice and easy. And that's going to be 4 goes into 16 four times. So that's going to be 14, no remainder. So it looks like our answer is D. I did mention there was another way to do that. If you didn't want to mess with that improper fraction and mixed number, what we can do is we can change 1 and 3 quarters into a decimal. Now, if you don't happen to know what 3 quarters is as a decimal, easiest way to do is to divide up. Divide your 4 into 3. So 4 goes into 3 zero times, obviously. But what that does is that gives us the opportunity to bring a, a 0 down. So 4 goes into 3 37 times. That's going to be 8, and that's going to be our 5. So you might have known that 3 quarters is, is 0.75, but if you ever get stuck on a fraction, just divide up. Divide that denominator into the numerator. So it's 1 and 3 quarters. That's going to be 1.75. And so if we multiply that 1.75 times 8, well, we could get our answer. So that is going to be 40. That is going to be 56. And add that 4, that's going to be 60. And 8 times 1 is 8. Add that 6 is 14. Now we have two digits behind the decimal in the factors. So we need two digits behind the decimal in our products. Now it only works here because we came up with the whole number. If for some reason, let's say we did 9. So let me just show you what would have happened on 9. 1.75 times 9 it would have obviously given us a different answer. But what we would have had to do, that's 63, 67. That's going to be 9, that's 15. If we got something like this, what we would have had to have done is change this back into a mixed number. So 15 and 75 over 100, which would have been 15 and 3 quarters. So that's the only problem of switching it over into a decimal, is if all of your answers are in mixed numbers like this, it makes it easier to multiply. But if your answer doesn't come out even like we did, if it comes out like with a 0.75, you have to get it back into the mixed number. But we didn't do that. So our answer here is going to be D, 14 inches.